In this video we're going to have a look to see how we can set up the email notifications that come through when setting up a form in Registration Magic. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll head over to Registration Magic and we go to the Global Settings page. On the Global Settings page we look for Email Configuration. On the Email Configuration screen you'll see that we have the option first of all to enable or disable submission notes. So do we notify the user about submission notes? Yes or no? In most cases you'll want that on and you'll probably also want to be notified as the site admin that a notification has been sent and here you can set up the email addresses for admin people who should receive the email. So it's not done by user group but it's done by individual email address so anybody you would like to assign you can and the nice thing is is that you can also then attach the submission as a PDF with the email so admin gets a very nice clear picture of who subscribed and what they're subscribing for we head over to the next section and here you can set the outgoing emails handler so in most cases the WordPress default should be fine there's also the option for a test mail just to make sure that it's working. You can however also use an external SMTP and here the configuration details are entered. You have your SMTP host, the encryption type TLS or SSL, the SMTP port that's used, the sender's email, authentication and under authentication you have your username and password and then the email address for testing once again. So here you can change that sender's email to be info at sales at whatever you want it to be from your website. So that's the difference. Most cases the WordPress default should be fine. We scroll down a bit more. Then we have a notification, submission notification for the user. So yes, we will want to notify the user that their submission has been received, has been submitted. We also want to assign the sender's email, so who, who should that come from? So not necessarily just the admin of the website, but you might want to change that to sales or to info. Then we have the submission notification for admin. The sender's name in this case will use the user's name and the sender's email will use the sender's email. So these are fields that are picked up from the form that you've created. Happy with that, simply select save and notifications will now be sent using these global settings. There are however some settings that you can change on the form itself. So if we head over to all forms and we have a look here at our dashboard for, well let's look at the dashboard for the demo registration page. So you'll notice now that when you open up the page for your form, you can see the stats indicating the submissions of that form. And if we head over to configuration, and you can see here that we have an option here to set an autoresponder. So this would be a notification to the user to say that they have submitted their form. And here we would say auto reply to the user, thank you for your submission, here you can create your your form, uh, your reply email to the form and select save. So the nice thing is you can format it nicely either in the visual mode or you can change it over to the text mode if you'd like to insert some HTML coding. So that's the one method of then sending the autoresponder linked and linking it directly to your form. Another configuration item to look at is email templates. So here you have the template for the notifications that will be sent. So in the previous section we set up the method of delivery which was the SMTP or the WordPress mailing engine. Here what we're going to do though is we're going to set up the email that will be sent. So for the new user 
we send them a new user email. So the subject for that would be new user registration, and you might want to say on new user registration on on this website. So there we have the new user registration on this website, and here you can create the message. And you'll see that you can pull in some fields from the form that was submitted. So your account has been successfully created on this website name. You can now log in using the following credentials. So essentially letting them know what the username and password is for logging in. When it comes to a verification email, so the difference is, is this would be where the user would register and then be automatically given access to the website. However, you can also set it up so that email verification is required. So email verification just makes sure that the user is an authentic user. And here you can set up the email for the verification. So email verification, and once again you could say for uh, this website. Um, with, or your website name and once again one last step please click the link below to verify your account so the user here is encouraged to complete this verification method in order for them to continue having access to the website if they don't verify the account the link will expire and they'll no longer have access to the website and they would have to request a new verification email in order to redo that process. Then we have the user activation email subject and this is for the activation. So once the account is now activated, so this could be um, via the verification system or this could be where they are manually given access to the website. And this is an automatic email that will then go out to them to say just thank you for registering your account is now active. So a very easy email and once again you can come in and format these as you prefer to make it more interesting for your users. We then have a look at the notification templates for admin and these are sent giving some really nice information so here we have um, activate user and maybe put the name of the website in so you know which website it is and then we have the email body so there we have the username, the user email, and if you're going to manually activate, please click on the button here to activate. So you don't even have to log into the website to activate the user. You're given the link immediately in the email, and it's as simply as clicking and activating. If a user submits a new form, here you have the new form submission and this will of course go to the admin. Um, what's interesting here about the submission data of the form, so this is a little bit different to just a submission to say that somebody is registered and they would like access to the website. This is giving you uh, an option to receive some really interesting information about the person who submitted and here we have a, a submission so you have the submission data which would be the mail but then you also have the option for submission history so with the submission history you can see all the forms that they have submitted on a previous occasion so for example they may have submitted the form to register for a user group they may have sent through a contact form or a support form or an inquiry form and this would then show you the history of all the forms that this particular user has submitted. So when you reply, you already have an idea, a little bit more of an idea about who they are. So then we have the registration magic user data. So this will give you some of their personal information. And then this looks at um, digital downloads, uh, any digital downloads in their history. And here we have the WooCommerce information. So when you receive an email from that person, you can determine uh, when last they made contact, whether they're a customer, whether they're not a customer, 
without having to go and look at their user profile online. So a very unique feature that gives you some insight into your users. Right, well, let's head back over to the registration magic form data uh, dashboard. So there you can see you have full control over what the user sees. Uh, you have full control over who would receive the forms both from the admin and the customer point of view and then you also have different templates that can be set up to keep your branding in place. Right, um, well I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching.